my name is Barb, and I'm here today with Sydney Fleming White, who runs the bookstagram called This Squid Reads. For those of you who are not familiar with the term um, bookstagram, it is an Instagram account dedicated to books and usually includes photos and book reviews. So welcome, Sydney. Hello, thanks. <laughs> to begin, I would like to ask, how did you come up with a unique name for your bookstagram? Well, um, my, my name is Sydney, and so Squidney was kind of a really common nickname for me growing up. I still have some family members who refer to me as Squidney. So um, when I was kind of deciding to create my bookstagram, um, I wanted something easy, like quick to say, simple, and kind of cute. And I was like, this Squid Reads is a pretty, it, it kind of fits all those boxes. So yeah, that's how I came up with it. It definitely rolls off the tongue and is easy to remember. So that's that's, that's, what, that's what I was going for, yeah. So how do you choose a book to highlight? So it's kind of nice because I am on a bookstagram that I constantly have like recommendations and people who um, are posting like really thorough reviews. And so I just use that and Goodreads and I just constantly am adding things to my TBR, like my to be read list. Um, and so really just kind of depends on the month, like this month's October. So I'm trying to read more like spooky books or things that fit with more of a Halloween theme. Um, so like thrillers, horrors, things like that. Um, but other times of the year, I just go based off of like what's popular. What am I feeling as a mood reader? And I just kind of pick a few books and go from there. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, is there a particular genre that you, um, that's your favorite? Yes, so I'm a big, like, epic fantasy fan, but fantasy of, like, all genres, like, some genres I really like, um, and sci-fi, too. Fantasy, sci-fi, that kind of uh, genre, it's really my bread and butter. I love reading anything that has to do with any of those elements. <laughs> yeah. Um, and would you like to recommend a book today? Yes, so um, because kind of fantasy, sci-fi are my favorite uh, genres, I brought a couple of books. So the first one is The Weight of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. So it, it is a big book, but don't let that, you know, startle anybody because uh, it, this is some of the easiest to read just because it's such an incredible series. Um, Brandon Sanderson does a Cosmere universe. So what that means is that like you can start with this series, the Stormlight Archive, or you can start with a whole bunch of other options within that universe. And it all kind of deals with similar worlds, similar timelines. And it's like, it's really expansive. So if you want a fantasy series, that's going to give you a ton of options for reading, like Brandon Sanderson is definitely a go-to for that. Um, I also brought, just in case people didn't like the size of that one, <laughs> I did bring Fuzzy Nation by John Scalzi. He's one of my favorite sci-fi authors. Um, he is so funny. His, stuff, his, his work is so easy to read. Um, and this book in particular is based off of like uh, a, a, an older book called Fuzzy Nations. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Um, I can't remember the author's name, the original author's name at the moment, but uh, yeah, super funny, awesome sci-fi book, um, and I highly recommend either of those. Wonderful. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds wonderful. And what advice would you give anyone who's interested in starting a bookstagram? So my piece of advice would be just to do it. <laughs> um, I kind of did it on a whim. Like, it was COVID. There was so... I think it was during one of the first lockdowns and I was like, oh my God, like I'm so bored. <laughs> um, and so I, you know, I was reading a lot already at the time, but I kind of wanted more people to talk to about books and I didn't have that community already. So I just was kind of scrolling and I realized there's like a whole pocket within Instagram of readers. And so when I saw that, I was like, what a cool way to just like, I get to take pictures of these books. I get to interact with all these readers. Um, and it, it, it was an awesome decision. So if anybody is thinking about opening a bookstore, just do it because it is so much fun and it's so easy. And even though Instagram has a lot of, you know, algorithms and things that can impact how many likes you get and things like that, you will still have enough people to interact with that it is a lot of fun. You don't have to post all the time. It can be like really, really just 
taken at your own pace. So yeah, if anybody's thinking about it, I would highly recommend just jumping right in and, and just seeing if you like it. It sounds like it's a, uh, a bit like having a gigantic book club. It, it is. It is. Yeah. And a lot of people within like, um, like when you kind of start posting and start interacting with other you like uh, other Instagrammers, like you can kind of make those little book clubs too right. and find people who are like similar genres and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. So is there a particular place that you like to read like a book nook is there a time of the day you like to read or do you just read whenever you can so i really pre-covid i used to love going to either libraries or uh cafes i'm a big cafe fan like i just you know get a latte sit in one of the comfy chairs and just like read for a couple hours that is probably my favorite thing to do um, but now what I like to do is, uh, we, we recently bought a really nice couch. So I love to just curl up on the couch and like cup of tea, you know, blanket, oh, just nice. like I'll read for a couple hours in the evening. The evening is my favorite time to read. So yeah. yeah and then, uh, yeah, that's kind of my favorite way to end the day. Great. Yeah. That's everyone's favorite way, I think, <laughs> yeah. in an ideal world. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, thank you very much. This has been very interesting. We really appreciate you coming on down. No worries. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. All right. Thank you.